What's up everybody, my name is Astonishing Pix and welcome to another review and today we are reviewing the Black Series Duels and Darth Vader and Commander Apple from the new uh, Obi-Wan wave that came out and first impressions I think that this uh, these figures look great. Here they are in package. I think they're just starting to hit target right now so yeah, uh, there are Target exclusives, if you guys did not know that. Anyways, without further ado, let's crack open these figures. So first off, we're taking a look at Commander Apple, or the regular plain 501st Kenobi Trooper. And wow, I gotta say that this figure uh, is pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna say that the proportions are better than the previous figures, and... I like the new engineering that they did when it comes to the shoulder pads and the knee pads. And yeah, let's take a closer look. So taking a closer look at the figure, you can see that this has the uh, Tim Morrison face sculpt. And yeah, you can see the little scar and everything. I think this is, again, Commander Apple. Here is going to be a still, if there is any from the show. I don't know how accurate this is when it comes to the... Uh, Clone Wars show, but I know that this is from, I guess, Commander Apple did show up in Revenge of the Sith, but of course he did look like a regular clone trooper instead of the arrow in the helmet. So yeah, he has the new shoulder pads. And you can see, I think the uh, blue is a lighter shade uh, of color when it comes to other 501st troopers that I've seen. But yeah, they... Yeah, the new shoulder pads aren't attached to the arm, but they're attached to the torso. And I think also that the uh, torso is an overlay piece like the uh, Stormtrooper. So it's no longer a hard piece like it was for the Kaminoan Clone Trooper or the, I want to say, you know, the other iterations of the Trooper that we've seen before. Let me have the look. Sorry for my shakiness. But yeah. So before we get into the accessories that this guy comes with, uh, let's take a look at the articulation of this figure. I think he can look. Oh my god! <laughs> I popped this head up. Um. Let me see. Okay, so he doesn't have the best up articulation that I've seen. He can go about, look up about that far and down, not that much either. He can tilt somewhat obviously he can move side to side which is pretty good he can move his arm up about this far thanks to that new uh shoulder pad that he has he can move his arm all around 360 he does have single jointed elbows that can swivel also and he does have wrist articulation <laughs> For torso articulation, he can move about a pretty good amount. Um, not much forward, not much backwards either. So it is kind of limited, but he does have the new articulation. So he can move about this far. Only if you use the thigh swivel too, because if you just use it like that, you know, it doesn't move that much forward. But like I said, you can move this up here and then twist the knee swivel and now since they added a new knee pad you can finally move it down so it won't look that bad when it comes to like kneeling poses he can go about 90. he does have pretty good swivel when it comes to the feet and he can does have a good ankle rocker too here we have our 501st trooper with the helmet and everything and i think it looks great obviously the helmet is not perfect but i think with every release the helmet sculpt i guess it gets a little bit better um i think i'm starting to get used to it now i don't know if that's a red flag or not that you know i'm starting to get used to it i do hope that hasbro does release a new mold unless this is the new mold that they were talking about uh but yeah like i said before his helmet is part of the accessories so he does come with that he also does come with his dc15 s blaster rifle or 
blaster. And it does come with a DC-15. I want to say it's the regular one. I forget the names. I know these are DC-15s, but this one's the S model, I think, or the other way around, but yeah. Then we focus it. There you go. That looks pretty good. I know these guns are, or these, I know these blasters are not that accurate when it comes to uh, actual in uh, universe lore. And stuff. Next, let's get into the size comparison. So first off, we have the Target exclusive General Obi-Wan Kenobi next to the Black Series Commander Apple. Here we have Commander Apple next to the 40th anniversary Darth Vader. Here we have Commander Apo next to the Black Series Commander Jesse. And I think that these figures look amazing next together. Um, obviously the blue is different. If you cannot tell on camera, it looks different or not, but yeah. Here we have Commander Apo next to the Black Series Cad Bane from the two pack. And here we have Commander Apo next to the SH Figuarts Anakin Skywalker. Now we're gonna be looking into different lines. So first off, I have the Figma link. As you can see, here is the size difference. Here we have a classified figure next to a black series figure. You can see the snake eyes is a little bit more taller than the black series. McFarlane Dark Knight figure. And you can see that this is a bigger figure, seven inch versus six inch. And wow, here we have the Black Series Duels and Darth Vader. And I'm gonna have to say that I'm really impressed with this figure when it comes to the helmet sculpt and how they have the cape settled and everything. And again, I thought that this was just gonna be like a re-release of the um, 40th anniversary body, which it kind of technically is, it uses the same body. Uh, but obviously there are some slight difference, differences when it comes to the helmet sculpt, obviously, and the shine and obviously the cape, that one's different, the overlay is different, the paint job is different. So again, for this being like a, a re-release, it is really impressive. And this is out of the two of them that I have, um, I think that the Darth Vader is probably one of my favorites. But before we get into the Darth Vader review, I wanna show you guys the uh, packaging. <clears throat> so I already showed you guys the packaging in the beginning. Let me see if I could get a closer look. Wow, the art, the side art is amazing. Let me see, I can zoom out a little bit, but here we go. Here it is, I think that the art looks amazing. But yeah. Okay, so taking a closer look at Darth Vader, wow, you could really see the details in his helmet, you know, how it's shattered and everything. Wow. You can see his eye peering out in there. Let me see if I could take another look here. You can see the dry brushing that there is over here as the lightsaber comes down. So it's like a layer. So it's like two two layers before you get to his face sculpt peering out wow and again the uh the other thing that's kind of different is the chest box is also damaged you can see the slash here the armor and the cape droops it droops far out this time than it does when it comes to the other uh, Darth Vader that I have, but yeah. Uh, one thing is that I think that this is a tear when it comes to like battle damage. His cape is rugged, as you can see. So I thought that this was kind of like an error, but no, you can see that this is part of the battle damage that he has, which is pretty interesting. Let's see if it can lift up. There you go, see? There you go. So that is damage to the cape. So I thought it was just like an error at first, but no, it's, it is a part of the detail. And well, I hope that the glossy finish doesn't really deteriorate over time. I know that the um, some glossy figures have this problem of 
uh, corroding or something like that over time, it becomes matte. And I hate that because, you know, the figure looks amazing. I think this Darth Vader used to be almost as glossy as that, but as you can see, he's kind of matte. You know, but that's just because of over time and stuff like that. So the figure looks nice now, but you know. let's get into the articulation. So let me just zoom out so you guys can take a better overall look. Okay, so when it comes to the helmet, he can move side to side. He is limited and up, kind of. See, he can't go that far out. He can't look down that much. And for the arm, he can move, let's see. He can move about this far up. I don't know if it's because of the the soft goods preventing it. He d can move his arm, his joint farther than the older one he can. This gets past 90 degrees. Impressive, most impressive. And when it comes to the swivel, he can move side to side. He can move a bit up actually. Yeah, this is different. This, he can move up a little bit. He does have like a diaphragm joint kind of, but it's not by much. He can't really move down at all. He has some pivot, some pivot. So the, so it is technically, sorry about that. So it is technically a new mold uh, for the torso, the helmet, obviously. So not entirely, but you know, it is there. And he can, I assume he, yeah, he could go all around. For the hips, he can move about this far. He still has pins when it comes to the legs. And he does have a double jointed knee and he does have a thigh, thigh rotation. So that's good. He also does have the standard articulation when it comes to the ankles. No boots swivel though, which is uh, unfortunate. So when it comes to accessories, he doesn't really have much, just his lightsaber. So here we have a look at his lightsaber. Pretty standard Darth Vader lightsaber. I think he also has new hands. They seem kind of different, newly sculpted, but yeah. Take a closer look. But yeah, so before we end the review, let's do a size comparison. So here we have the Duels and Darth Vader next to Commander Apo. Here we have Duels and Darth Vader next to the 40th anniversary Darth Vader. Here we have Anakin Skywalker next to the Duels and Darth Vader. Here we have Darth Duels and Darth Vader next to Cad Bane and General Obi-Wan Kenobi. And last but not least, here we have Duels and Darth Vader next to the Commander Jesse. All right, and that concludes my uh, review of the Darth Vader and Commander Apo uh, Kenobi figures. And I'm gonna have to say that these figures are pretty good. Obviously my favorite is the Darth Vader, not only because of the new uh, sculpting that they did and the helmet that they also done, but you know, because of the new, I don't know because of the look and everything they just captured it so well sh figure arts is also doing another one of these uh i think they're doing the duels and darth vader 2 battle damaged uh but this is a nice alternative if you don't want to drop the big bucks for an import figure i'd say that i recommend getting darth vader duels and darth vader and the commander apple if you guys have the chance if I were to rate the figures, I'd probably give the Duels and Darth Vader a... I'd give it a 9 out of 10. No, sorry, no, an 8.5. There are some things that I still would have preferred. Obviously new joints for the legs. And I would say that a better engineered torso, but you know, um, it is an improvement compared to the 40th anniversary Darth Vader's. And when it comes to the clone trooper, Obviously, it looks better when uh, more proportionally accurate. My only gripe is that I wish that they gave a more accurate helmet sculpt. And 
I give the clone trooper or Commander Apple, sorry, I would say like an eight out of ten. Darth Vader an eight point five. So I definitely recommend you guys. Thank you guys for watching my review. Please like and subscribe and let me know if you guys want more reviews. I might have the creature from the Black Lagoon coming up in maybe a week or so. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and catch you next time.